Okay, welcome to the first tutorial for the Euro Truck Simulator 2 editor. We'll be going over a couple of things, how to open it, how to make a road, and then, and then how to save and reopen your work. So first off, go to mod folder, make sure it's empty, make a mod backup, place them in the backup folder. If it's not empty, you'll load all the other mods into the editor, which you don't want to do. Next up, come to Steam, right click properties, local file, browse. We shouldn't do that. Go to bin, win x64 if you're on 64 bit, and uh, x86 if you're on 32 bit, which is quite old now. So I'm here, right click. Send to desktop, create shortcut. And you should see this. Right click, properties, and the target line, space hyphen edit to get the map editor. Then space hyphen no workshop to disable any workshop mods you've got. And then finally, space hyphen force underscore mods which any mod you've got in your mod folder, like when you save your work, it's forced to load. So make sure it looks exactly like that with the um, quotation marks, space, hyphen edit, space, hyphen no workshop, and space, hyphen force, underscore mod, mods, sorry. Make sure it's like that, I'll give you a minute. Pause it if you need to. Right to start, right click, run as admin. If you don't run as admin, you cannot save. Uh, the screen might go black when it asks to launch, but don't worry. It doesn't like recording it, I don't know why. <clears throat> Doing this at 2 a.m., so. I'll keep it uh, pretty short. Right, blank canvas. Don't worry. At the top here, item type, you've got model. Go down to road. Press E. Click on this magnifying glass showing content browser. Click on this box here. Escape to get rid of it. And choose your road. Let's go for the um, typical British road. Road one lane broken, so double click on any roads you've chosen. Move the box out of the way. Left click to start. Move it where you want. Left click to finish. Press escape. Press C to change the camera. W, S, A and D to move around. Hold the right mouse button to move the camera around. Now yours won't look like this. This is because it's left over from last time. I might map P for properties. Click the node. And so let's make it. Now it should appear on yours. So under material. No, sorry, terrain material. Press G. Grass, Austria, Main here. And on the right hand side, again, G. Grass, Austria, Main. And as you can see, you've got grass on both sides. Under model at the bottom. Whoops. Scroll up, make it none. Just I've got a nice blank canvas. And as you can see, we have uh, pavements. So you might not want those. At the top, you've got city road and road on the left. Road to get rid of them. City road to make it a city road with pavements. So click road in this case, and then click OK to finalise it. And there's your road. Now, w whenever you want to start your map and drive on it, click this place start icon, click it and then click on the map. Anywhere you want. And that's where you'll start driving when you press run map up here. As you can see, we've got terrain on the left and on the right. Press P, go to properties. On the left hand side, let me look back up. Drain size here, 
is 20, that's 20 meters. Make it 100 or 200, and go out 200 meters. Two hundred on the right hand side, click OK. You've now got drain. If you ever want to extend the road, press C to go into the top camera view, scroll back on the mouse wheel, scroll forward to zoom in, back to zoom out, M to go into move mode, click the green node, move it up with the arrow. Up and down. An important thing you're going to need is the vertex editor. So press V and you'll see these purple lines. So for example, you click this. When it's yellow with a little yellow plus icon, click it. You can move that vertex, vertice, whatever. So you went, oh no, and you let go. You want it back. Say so it's stuck. Don't worry, click on node. As it's on the right hand side here reset right terrain vertexes into default state click this x here and watch this is where the mouse is it puts it back then click ok and you're done now vertexes stretch along the entirety of the terrain the further the terrain goes the longer they get which does it from one up here to the other down here. If I raise it up, you can see it stops here, starts here. Control Z to go back. Right, let's go over a model quickly. Go into Content Browser, click on Model, and any model you like, we'll just choose this admin building. Double click it, place it anywhere you want with your left mouse button. Press R to enter rotate and you'll get the axes. Your Y axis, your X axis, and your Z axis. Control and Z to go back as many times as you want. Escape to finalize. Click on M to move it. And then click on the node. You can move it right, left forward, backwards, and up and down using the arrows. Let's just put it there, for example. Now you may want a railing on the road or lampposts. So let's go for a railing, P, and then enter the node properties. Under railing at the bottom here, click the tab, click railing model selection here, and choose anti-noise nine. For example, that will be smack bang in the middle. Now, under offset here, you'll have zero. That's how many meters it is from the middle. I like to have it on six on this particular road. Hit OK. It will go the length of the current road section you, you're on. And to move it on the right-hand side, you'll see this arrow here next to offset. Copy settings to the right side. Click that once. No, you don't. Sorry, this arrow. And you should have it now on the right hand side and again under offset zero to six click ok and now it's on the right hand side now what you can do if you watch the left hand side scroll down and it will just change the model it will keep the same distance but the model changes when it finds one that is visible like so and click OK and you're done. Again, if you want to do it on the right hand side, copy settings to the right hand side and you're done. I think that pretty much covers it. Apart from saving and reopening, I'll go over that now and then I'll call it a night. So, file, save as. Let's just call it my map. Click save. Exit. Now go down to your mod folder and you should have user underscore map. 
This is the new naming scheme from before 1.38 when it was base map, I believe. I open that, open map, and you should see these files. When you finalize your mod, you only need this folder and this module. So these highlighted two. So to load it, right click, run as admin. It'll go black. Well, not the um, you, it won't, but it will on the recording. I don't know why it gets black when it does that, but whatever. Can't be helped. Shit. It is important not to have any mods in your mod folder because they will load in and it will most likely crash. Like if you try to load pro mods and rust map and whatever in any mods are all conflict. So at the top file, open, click on my map and open. C change the camera and then pan the mouse around and there's your work. And you can start working on it as you were before. Hope that was easy to follow. Any questions, let me know, and I'll cover another one next week. See you later.